What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender rendering tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to light an image with an HDR file, but also how to hide that in the background and just include a color background instead. So this is gonna be useful if you want to use the HDRI file for its lighting, but you don't want it to be in the background because getting that to kind of line up and get the result that you want isn't always the best thing in the world. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first thing first, I'm gonna download my, or uh, delete my default model, and then I'm gonna download a model from the Sketchfab add-on that we can use as an example for our rendering. So I will link to this in the notes down below. Um, remember that you can bring in these models from Sketchfab really quickly. So we're gonna download a model called Slumhouse from Design Bureau, and I will link to that in the notes down below, but I'm gonna click and download that, and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at it from a rendering standpoint. All right, so we got our model in. Now what we wanna do is we wanna add some lighting, right? And uh, it, for this video, we're gonna use an HDRI file. If you guys are interested, we can talk about a pretty simple lighting setup for this that could make this look really good as well. But for this one, I wanna talk about just using that HDRI to quickly light this model. So as of right now, if I was to click over into rendered view, you can see how everything's just dark because there's really no light source. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into our shader editor and so what we want to do is we want to jump into the world editor. And what we want to do is we want to use an environment texture um, in order to bring in our HDRI file that's going to light this. So the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to do a shift A. We're going to search for environment texture. We're going to bring that node in. We're going to link the color into the color of our background. And so as of right now, there's still nothing going on. It's actually all pink because it doesn't know what we're referencing. So we're just gonna click on the open button and go find our HDRI file. So in this case, for me, it's just an HDRI file that I've downloaded from HDRI Haven. Um, you can really download any HDRI that you want. And so I'm just gonna double click on this and bring it in. So you can see how what this has done is this has brought that file in and it's showing up in the background and it's lighting our image, which is great, but I don't necessarily want to render this with a whole bunch of sunflowers in the background, even though I like the lighting. And so what we want to do, and so I'm going to leave this as is. And so if you wanted to, you could bring in a texture coordinate and mapping node and adjust the rotation of this HDRI file. I'm not going to worry about it for right now. If you guys are interested, I can make a video on how to do that. But what I want to do now is I want to set this up so that it renders with a transparent background. So I'm going to go back into layout mode, first of all, and I'm going to add a camera. So I'm just going to do a shift A, add a camera, then I'm going to hit zero to jump into camera mode. Um, tap the N key and make sure that under your view settings, lock camera to view is set. That's going to allow you to just kind of rotate your, uh, or set your view up so that you can act so that you can actually see this building. And so the first thing we want to do is set this up so this renders the transparent background right? Because if we were to render this right now, if we were to do a render image, it's going to give us those sunflowers in the background, which isn't what we want. So we're going to go into our render settings right here under the camera. Then we're going to go down under the film settings. And under film settings, there's an option for transparent that we can check. And so basically what that's going to do is that's going to make our background transparent. Well, now if we look at this, this would render out with no color in the background, right? There's just an alpha in the background. So that's the first thing is getting that, um, that image out of our background. And so one other thing to note right now is if you want to get a perfect like white background or something like that, you wanna go into your color management over here and you wanna leave your, or you wanna set your view transform to standard. So if you have it in here as filmic, what, what's gonna happen is Blender is going to apply changes to that color. And if you wanted like a perfect white or something like that, um, it's gonna make changes and you'll get more of a grayish color. So if you're really interested in getting that like perfect white or something like that, make sure you set your view transform to standard in your color management. So now we've got this set up where it's going to render out lighting using the HDRI image without showing a background. Well now what we want to do is we want to set this up where it's going to replace the background with a color. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go into the compositing tab. The compositing tab is going to let us work with our image um, in order to composite the rendered image with something else. So in this situation the first thing we want to do we want to check the box for use nodes. And notice how when I click on use nodes, this render layers and composite 
show up in here. And this is showing us a preview right here of our image. If you don't have a preview, one thing you can try is going into your scene settings and under post processing, unchecking the box for sequencer. So that should show up with an image right here. Well, now we're not really doing anything yet, right? It's just, we basically have an image and then we're telling it to spit it out to a composite, but we haven't told it to do anything else. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna tell this to replace the alpha in our scene with a color. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna do a shift A, do a search and look for alpha over. So that node is going to allow us to basically render this out with a color where the alpha is. But if you were to run this right now, so for you to do a render, render image, you're just gonna get a white screen, right? And the reason you're getting a white screen is because you've got this plugged in to the wrong node. So we don't want this plugged into the first one, we want this plugged into the second one. So I'm gonna break this link and I'm gonna link this to the second node over here. And I'm also gonna set the pre mole to one. So now, if we were to go back and we were to render this image right here, this is gonna render with a white color in the background. And so you could also adjust this so that there's other colors instead. So instead of white, you could use this to put really whatever color you want in here, like a yellow or really whatever. The problem with that though, is it can be really time consuming to go back, re-render, uh, click back, all of that. And so what we can do is we can set this up to give us a preview in the background right here. And so this is, this is optional, but this node will help you see what this is going to look like. So the way that we're gonna do that is there's a node called a viewer node. So if I do a shift A and search for viewer and bring this in and click, we can link this node into this image right here. And then you can actually see what this is gonna look like in the background. So as you make the change, you can see how this is changing along with us so we can actually see what this is going to look like. So and one thing that's a little frustrating about this is your zoom in and out doesn't really work. So what you wanna do instead is you wanna tap the V key. So the V key is gonna let you zoom out. Um, if you hold Alt or if you hold Alt and tap V, it's gonna zoom in and you can also hold Alt and click and drag your middle mouse button in order to move this around. But what that allows us to do is that allows us to move this around and also see what this is going to look like in our viewport. And so I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna link my background color to maybe like the ground color right here for right now. So then we can take this image and we can render it out just like this. And so if I set my image to white, then I go up to render and I render my image you can see how we can render this whole thing out lit with the HDRI with a color in the background. So that's from it in this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Would you like to see more things about rendering in this style? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.